The handshakes are all over as President Biden and Vladimir Putin clash over Ukraine, and all of us begin to feel the impacts of war here at home. President Biden says all of us could pay a price for Russia's aggression, but he is vowing to do everything he can to limit a spike in energy prices. KTLA's Pedro Rivera live in Burbank tonight on the price of war. Pedro. Yeah, Micah, Sherry, we saw earlier President Biden issuing those sanctions against Russia. And while some experts and analysts didn't find the sanctions as potent as they expected, as strong, it still had a ripple effect on major industries, including uh, the energy sector, oil we're talking about here. And it's likely to have a major impact on the global economy. President Biden announced the first round of sanctions against Russia for what he describes as the beginning of a Russian invasion. This round of sanctions targeting Russian banks and elite families in the country. The move noticeably didn't target one of its largest exports. If America and Europe wanted to bring Russia to its economic knees, what you would do is put sanctions on oil and natural gas production. That didn't stop oil prices from hitting over $99 a barrel on Tuesday, its highest since 2014. It then settled back down to around $97 a barrel, but this clearly means higher pump prices here in the United States. KTLA consumer expert David Lazarus expects within days, gas prices will top $5 a gallon on average in California. Russia is one of the largest oil producers in the world, so any disruption in flow and supply means higher prices. Natural gas, though, is also a really big thing to be watching here. Russia provides about a third of Europe's natural gas. Germany has cut back on a key natural gas pipeline going from Russia into Europe. How much did it cost you to uh, fill up? $64. And that was, I, I had already a quarter tank still on the car, too. Randy Gallegos just filled up his brand new gas powered SUV. He's happy with his vehicle, but says he thought about making the switch to an electric car with gas prices being what they are. I did want a hybrid, but I wanted a bigger car. With Russian troops heading into eastern Ukraine, stocks were volatile. The Dow at one point dropping 700 points before closing around 500 points. But obviously, anything that happens in the stock market affects all our 401ks, so we all have skin in the game. Russia is one of the top exporters of metals like aluminum and nickel, which recently hit highs in price. That is likely to have an impact on transportation costs. On the agricultural front, Russia is one of the largest suppliers of wheat and corn in the world, so you can expect global food costs to rise, meaning companies will pass that cost on to you. President Biden acknowledged that the invasion of the Ukraine from Russia was likely to impact our gas prices here at home. So he is working with energy producers to try to keep those prices low. But it is important to remember, guys, this is only the first round of sanctions. Uh, if Russia continues that aggression, we could see more sanctions, which could have a much larger impact on the global economy. And of course, Wall Street doesn't like uncertainty, so most likely to see some volatility there.